Welcome back to another resin pouring, except this time we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to be testing out the KISS principle with resin pouring. The safety equipment is nitrile safety gloves and a masquerader for fumes. The KISS principle stands for keep it simple stupid. So instead of using two mixing cups, I'm just going to pour both the A and B side into this one using 100 milliliters of A and 100 milliliters of B and directly mixing it here in one cup. More simple than before. The resin will go from cloudy or from clear to cloudy and then back to being clear when it's fully mixed. Either when it's fully mixed or just before it's fully mixed, you can add in the coloring and any inclusions you want, and then mix those together with the resin. Now to keep us keeping it simple, I'm only going to use this one glitter and one color, and that is it. No complicated pouring, no drops, just mix it in the resin, one sort of glitter pigment and one color. Keep it simple, stupid. The color will be navy blue, and I'm going to be putting in five drops of it. And we're just going to mix that all together and begin pouring. Now sadly in the style of keeping it simple, I am not using any brain, so I did not really account for how much resin I would need for this. And as you'll see, I will not have enough. Luckily there is a very easy fix, which I'll show you in a minute. Alright, so since I've run out of resin, the very, very easy fix is to just make more. I'm going to follow the exact same steps as I did last time. 100 of A, 100 of B, 5 drops of navy blue, and 1 scoop of the glitter. And fill up the last two molds. Let's remove these uh, coasters from the main table and finish pouring the rest of the resin. And I have no I know exactly what I want to do with it. I want to make some dice. There's not really much to explain here. I'm just gonna pour the last bit of resin that I have into the dice mold. And hopefully this batch turns out nicely. Now to pour some more resin on top of the actual mold itself, or the lid I should say. There we go. And let's just dump the rest of it into this resin mold, or this coaster mold here, that I wanted to clean. Now that I've let it sit for a while, it's time to take the cap and place, and line up the keys and place it in the, or place it on top of the mold. I'm getting confused with what I'm saying. My brain needs to be turned back on. I've stopped keeping it simple, start thinking. I really should have pushed down more on this, because one of the dice I'll say it now, it did turn out a little bit off-sided. But in order to save as much resin as possible, I'm going to use, be using the scoop that I use. Since I use that glitter paint again, it'll take an extra 24 hours for these to cure solid. So I'm just going to leave them off to the side with the support inside of it and it should be good tomorrow. 
All right, let's have a look at this. Well, I was just trying to clean the mold with this, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. But it turned out, uh, it turned out pretty cool. Now for the main ticket, the dice. Hopefully this turned out well. All right, time for the reveal. How is it? Did it work? How did they turn out? Oh, I think these might be my best ones yet. All right, ooh. I'll have to double check with the other ones, with, but yeah, one little void there. But in all, they are really cool. Let's pop them out and cut the flashing. See what they really look like up close. I am noticing here that on one of the dice, the D6, it's got like a little edge to it, hence I should have pushed the mold further in. But, oh well. It wouldn't really be one of my pores if there wasn't some defects. You know, I'm just glad there's as little bubbles as there are. You know, the most tedious part is going to be cutting the flashing, so this will take a little while. Let's skip ahead. Okay, and up close, these look really cool. They're sort of like either diamonds or sapphires. Either, yeah, little diamond dice. Well, up close, you can see how they sparkle. Well, that one's not really doing much justice to it, but in person, they sparkle quite nicely. The most simple method of inking is as you see above, or above is only one screen, as you see. All you do is just drop it into a bunch of paint, cover it all over, and then clean it off. Very simple. Once the dice is covered in paint, using a paper towel, I am going to wipe it all off thus revealing clean numbers. Let's show this all from the start with another dice. Considering how the clip started in the middle of the inking process. Using the D10 percentage dice, I'm, used, I'm covering it with the metallic silver paint. Once all the paint is in, has seeped into the numbers, I'm going to then wipe it off with a cloth of some sort, thus leaving fully inked numbers. In all, the resin pour went quite nice, and the simple method works every time. This can be applied to anything really. Just keep everything simple, and it'll work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Did I really just record all that without my light on? Great. Well, here's what they look like with light. They're a lot more blue when you actually have the light on. So they might be more sapphire instead of diamonds, but either way, thanks for watching. Bye.